Well, good afternoon from a windswept and rain soaked England on an early Sunday afternoon. Uh, it's fair to say we've been battered for the last week or 10 days by gales and driving rain. Um, but in the main, everybody's fine. So we've got to be grateful for that. And uh, today's show is the second in the uh, Pack and Stack of Plano uh, edition. And today I want to bring to you them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Talking about the bone shakers. Everybody's favourite fantasy casting. So I'm led to believe, at least that's what I've seen in the last year or two I've been watching. Why? Well, they look good. Um, if you want to do customization work, be it a bone shaker or any other vehicle, I've seen lots of people raiding the motors out of these things and the exhaust systems. But uh, I don't think there's many people that don't like a bone shaker. And as always, the Plano case in front here has been prepared. And we'll see how great these things look together. Again, on the bottom row, bigger castings. And up there on the top, which I'll show you shortly, the smaller castings. Don't need to talk too much about them. Just tell you what they are and maybe how I came by these things. But really happy. Just finished my first Plano case full of them. And I'm well on my way to the second, maybe 12 castings or so. So let's get on with it. So bigger castings on the bottom. The Baja Bone Shaker. The big one. The big off-roader. Number 13, this one, a nice, deep, rich blue. You can just pick up that luster. There you go, in the light. Nice spots highlighted on the top of the roof there. And as always with these Bajas, a spare wheel on the back. Can't say too much about them. Other than the big, and I needed them to fill in the bottom of the plane, no cases. The notorious skull on the front. The wheels, yeah. Can't say too much about them. Not uh, enthusiastic about them. They are what they are. If I could find some bigger scale stuff, I'd be tempted to do a wheel swap on. But anyway, number 13. Little Lot Wheels logo on there, lot. Sympathetic tempo work. Quite like it. But then wheels. Yeah, they are what they are. Let's put them in the bottom there. And that fills up that compartment nicely. Um, Baja again being as we're going left to right, bottom to top uh, different casting some of these have come from four packs um, some are individual, I'll tell you about them the obviously uh, now famous Skull logo hot wheels on there same wheel in the back nice aquamarine blue I think I'd call that but yeah, good on this pace, big pace. We like it because, again, it just happens to fill in them big old four spaces at the bottom. This one I got as an individual casting. Um, just a variation, a colour variation of the same one I've shown you. A little bit of variation on the wheels. Gold obs on that one, green ones on this. Prefer these two sets of wheels to that first one I showed you. But yeah, big old desert racer I would suggest that would be useful if it was a real thing. I've seen things that look similar-ish. Spare wheel on the back again, so yeah. Casting 3 is just a variation of casting 2. But, viva la difference. I like the way they sit. And you can see that again individually... Maybe nothing right to write home about, but when you clump them together in groupings like this, they seem to come alive. This one, older casting, I do believe. Um, with this star here, I'm wondering if it was an American sports type casting, you know, similar to the Rocket League, of which I've got one now. But yeah, this one's an older casting. Uh, you can see the engine's not chromed out, nor is the back. But this was a gift or a trade if you want. I call them gifts because I'm talking here about Mix 67 from England. 
we could say we trade boxes, but I don't believe we do. Um, because it's not one for one, it's not like for like. We've become that good friends that we just trust each other now. He'll send me some wild, wild, oh, excuse me, some wild, wild stuff that I've never seen because he deals a lot online and he gets some real vintage stuff in. But he knew I was putting this case together and Mick very gently, uh, very kindly sent me this. And uh, I'm thrilled. It's a good, honest, plain pace. Not 100% immaculate, but again, when you put it in this setting, it just comes alive, doesn't it? It just makes perfect sense. So now we're moving on to the more regulatory bone shakers. Again, this piece was sent to me by Mix67. I mean, <laughs> pink. I love it. I absolutely love it. It just goes. You know, a little a little gloss knocked off the crown there, but not too much. But it's a good, honest, clean piece. Love the wheels. Love them five spoke. Obviously the classic skull on the front. There we go. Um, from what I understand with conversations with some of our American cousins is they tend to get these open top uh, versions of the bone shakers. And we tend to get the roofed versions. Well, I think I've just noticed lately that we're getting more of this version. And I think that's Mattel's craftiness, if you want. That you imagine how many thousands they make on a production run. And how much metal they're actually going to save in overall cost saving by making it an open top. Uh, I think I slightly prepare, I prefer the roofed versions because we live in England. And of course, we have a lot of rain. So you'd need a roof here. But yeah. I love that, and uh, thank you very much, Mix67. But yeah, he sits in there, and it just looks lovely. Next casting, um, this one says Shook on it. Um, S H W O K, like spook, but Shook. So I'm assuming, or presuming, that this might be a Halloween type release. Again. Nothing you haven't seen before, but that's what it's all about. All these variations, uh, nice big fat black walls on there like that. Very clean piece. Yeah, nice, very nice. Here's some bright colour for you. Mick, your favourite yellow. Nice flame logo going into the skull. Again, nothing I'm not teaching you anything you don't already know about these. But again, look, add top version. I don't know why. I just, I just like it. I prefer it. I don't always want to see all that chrome interior. So seeing it like that tickles me pink. This one I bought myself. Um, wasn't the cheapest piece, but I had to have it because it's a 50th anniversary Hot Wheels one. Very different wheels on this. Um, not sure I like the blacked out motor or the fuel tank or the exhaust or the cockpit, to be honest with you. When you look at it kind of like that, it looks cheap and nasty. Even the black skull, it just doesn't stand out. It doesn't stand out. There you go. But I do like the copper colour, and it is a Hot Wheel 50, so it's got to go in there. But when you put it in like that against the other, the colour variation stands for itself. And uh, like all of my bone shakers, I love them. I love them all equally. Uh, I think this I've got a lot of sentimental value for, because this was the first ever bone shaker I picked up. Uh, it was a carded piece, short card. Again... Cut out roof, chrome, too much in that interior. I mean, I know it's a fantasy piece, but you see street rods and rat rods that look this shape in real life. So to me, they've sort of over fantasized that a bit. But yeah, that was my first ever. I'm sure you've seen it before. It's just a main line, nothing special. 
but it set me on a journey. I just instantly liked the shape and thought, yeah, I'll pick one of them up. And uh, it's sort of grown exponentially now. Um, this one, another mainline piece. Um, I like the grey spokes on this one. It just lifts it a little bit. But again, this logo on the door. We've all seen that before. It's like almost a calling card for the Bone Shaker. BS on the on the back there. I'm sure that stands for Bone Shaker, but some of you might think it stands for something else. <laughs> That's up to you. But yeah, good on this piece. Can't go wrong for a quid. Quid 50 most, maybe. Um, This one. No, it's not what you've just seen. This is a number six, as the opposed to the other one being a number three. And this was another gift off Mix 67. Uh, he's helped me facilitate getting a nice collection here of these little bone shakers. So grateful again. Little play one. But again, it's like the paint is fine. Maybe a little chip there. I'm calling it a door handle. But again, when you start putting these things together... Them little glints, and how they shine, how they pick up the light. And my lighting's not the best for now. Um, happy days. This one, um, I got the peanut set, Charlie Brown. And this is number zero. And you can see Charlie Brown in a state of dazed and confusion in there. And uh, the colour's interesting. I'm looking for my camera and it looks goldy, but in actual fact, it's a very pale green metallic. I'm hoping you're picking that up. But I had this set of peanuts and I thought, um, I'm sure there's a bone shaker in that. So I looked and there was. And luckily, when I went back to the shop on this occasion, which was Smith's Toys, which is well known in England here. They had an odd one hanging on the peg. So I thought, right, that's getting cracked. That's another bone shaker for the case. So I was really happy. At that stage, it was about getting numbers in. You know, you need 24 for one of these planos. So I was happy to find that, as I'm happy to find everything uh, that I like. This one, 68. There we go. This is another generic main line. Nothing special about the paint. It's a nice flat blue. I quite like that. Because flatter colours, to me, pick up the chrome more. And I do like these wheels a lot. They're a little, they're a little bit agricultural. Big big mountain nuts in there. And they look like they could have come off a tractor. But somehow, for me, they go real nice. Classic skull. Um, yeah, nothing more to say about that. I like that. And I think I've got one or two of them in that livery, but in different colours so that's welcome look at this beauty 50th anniversary piece uh, this one was sent to me by Feynman Food 1988 and the fact that it's a flat black specked out with gold chrome uh, chrome skull look at that to me, that is class. It really, really is just a little different to everything else there. And I love that. So thanks for that, Feynman. I was treasured and uh, looked after immaculately. But yeah, that black on gold, it just takes it to another dimension for me. And again, always, it sits in there. Again, you may notice that no two colours sit the same together because I want the viewer to be sucked in and look at all the pieces as opposed to saying, well, that one jumps out to me or that one jumps out to me. It's a display and uh, I need balance because I'm a daftorian. So <laughs> this way is another one picked up by myself and somebody also got me this one as a gift. So I'll show you what I did with that in a minute. Uh, very simple. Again, Hot Wheels number three, but it's part of the 50th anniversary collection. Again, don't care for the black plasticky mouldings. The wheels are different, similar to the other one I showed you, which was that one there. So that's a colour variant, but a nice colour. 
uh, and a different blue to the metallic. I say I like the flatness. It doesn't jump out at you, but it, it it's it's equal to everything else in there. Like this one, like me rocking heavy metal, and uh, how heavy metal is that? Classic flame logo going into the skull. We've already seen that in the yellow. So this is a colour variation. Um, but I love it. It's cool. It's cool. It looks cool to me anyway. It's black. Goodness me. <laughs> there's anything, there's any thing say the dark side of the force or a rock of metal and black. There we go. Two blues and two blacks on there and they look fantastic, isn't it? You know, to me, I'll just tilt this up a little bit to get the upper two layers in there and we'll show you it as a whole. But yeah, last regular, uh, regulatory row of um, normal bone shakers, if you like, and we'll go into a little bit of something different. Again, you've already seen this casting on that last row in blue. This is just the generic red version. Again, love that style of wheels on them. Not teaching you anything new here. Just whizzing through them to show you that individually you might think, yeah, they're all right. But together, when you get the shine on them, it's a collection, isn't it? And we've all got a, a fetish for collecting. That's why we're here. So you understand where I'm coming from. This one, precious gift, as most of you I'm sure would know, this is the Larry Woods edition. Everything gold on it, bearing the tyres. It's an absolute gold sensory overload. But I love it. It's, it's a one-tone piece, but it's a quality one-tone piece. I mean, even the interior, look, everything gold. Good old Larry Wood. And uh, I believe this was a gift from Feynman Food 1988 as well. Although I will give a shout out to David Johns here, Mr. David Johns uh, from the worst YouTube uh, channel in the world ever. Um, he doesn't do content for cars. He's got other content such as um, holiday vlogs and day trips and that sort of thing and food testing. He's very interesting. I'm trying to beg him to start filming some car content because he has a killer killer collection of cars all cased up is doing some fantastical work learned very quick to do restorations and customizations and is evolving at a fantastical rate the work he's doing is great so if you get the time and he passes a comment don't ignore him you won't regret it he's a super super guy and uh my world's a lot better for having him in it we talk often as friends we're football supporters, sorry, soccer for the Americans. And uh, yeah, mega thanks to you, David, for all you do for me. And I hope you like what I do in return. Cool, man. That's all I can say. This little piece. Just another generic one. You've seen a couple of number threes in there. This is the metallic grey silver. But the fact that it's got red rims on it. Nice, sympathetic red edge tampos on there. I don't know. I think that looks really, really nice. Again, you catch the shine off all that chrome work. But I like that. That's one of the better bone shakers I like, although it's simplistic. But again, when you see it against the red and the gold of the Larry Wood, it stands alone on its own and as part of the 24 collection. So here's the last regulatory one. Love this. Love this a lot. Again, the roof makes a difference to the white. The wheels, yeah, could do with uh, re-chroming, but the reason it's slightly play one is the fact that this is yet yeah, another gift from Mix 67. And I think this is more an 80s design because it's louder and in your face. Not as subtle, and that's what I like about it, the fact that it's loud. But... When you sit him into the collection there, it tends to fade a little bit because your eyes aren't drawn to anyone in particular. And yeah, yeah, uh, it's another variation, so I'm really happy. Now on this top row, I could have put more bone shakers in, 
but when I was putting shakers together I was finding myself collecting any sort of shaker and that leads me nicely on to the skull shakers um, again pink one Hot Wheels logo this again was a gift from Mix67 he, he found this one for me fun little piece again you look at it on your own you think yeah not bothered about it but again it's when you see it in a grouping that it comes alive I have just recently seen a video um, from a new English customizer I subscribe to and although overall it's shorter than the normal bone shaker he discovered through looking at it I say he's a very clever customizer that the actual interior of the cab believe it or not is the same size as a regulatory bone shaker so what he's doing is ripping the skull shaker driver out drilling them out and with his spare bone shakers he's actually putting normal cockpits of any of these into the skull shakers and it's been fascinating how he discovered that and the way he works it i wish i remembered his name i'm sure if he's watching he'll know who he is but yeah he's taking the skull out putting a regulatory cockpit in from a normal bone shaker and he's done some fantastic work absolutely fascinated and he's a very talented customizer okay so now you can see based on the bar has at the bottom one size and then four rows of normal it kind of looks a little odd there but as we add to it you'll see where i'm coming from this one same design skull shaker when i show you it <laughs> um just a a generic piece i bought myself but again you pop him in there and he just tends to sit nice against the lump of the handle okay nothing more to be said about that at the present nice loud yellow one mix 67's favorite cost uh color there sorry again very very plain average casting the red wheels lift the piece as you know with this piece up here the red one forgot to say you know we we got chrome spokes that's nice against there and gray and pink go quite nicely so we'll put him in there and his head just wedges him straight in the middle there now we can see it's starting to make a little bit of sense i hope it's looking like it makes some sense and then finally for this case of 24 24th last but not least is that classic skull shaker so we've got this logo three times repeated now but it's all different color variations i'm not going to dwell on it and so you've got a case of 24 skull shakers bone shakers and baja bone shakers and uh, again you put them all together and for me they look fantastic i'll just rock back a little bit and the shine to me that looks pretty and everything makes sense as the 24 make up the whole we're not any one piece shining brighter than anybody else it's hard to pick a favorite there it really is because you know they're all something and then nothing and frivolous and but it's individual so it's just to bring you a couple of variants now i have received some other stuff um mix 67 center parcel in i will be doing an unboxing and there's a couple of nice bone shakers in that and some 32 fords that i requested so thanks for that mick that'll be the next video coming uh, unboxing and mr david johns has sent me a parcel in and that has a couple of really really nice bone shakers in that i can't get this side of the pond uh, i think there's a rocket league one in there which we'd only get here as a five pack and to be honest with you, i didn't really like anything else in the five pack so i'd have bought it for the one casting but david kindly sent me a rocket league single on the long card and he's also sent me another one that's not too dissimilar to this but it is completely different but color scheme wise so I'm looking forward to that and there'll be an unboxing uh, video coming from Mr. David Johns. David, thank you. Mick, thank you. And here's just a couple of variations that I showed you. I was going to show you. And so you might have seen this one on the shelf and thought, 
Good God. What the heck is that? Obviously, it's the pixel shaker. Um, it's like a brick of Lego. I've had some people tell me it messes with their eyes because of the, you know, the highly pixelated nature of it. And I have to say, I was in that camp, didn't like it at all. And then I thought about it and I thought, well, for a quid 40, I'm not taking a big risk. And it's only when I got it and put it in a Plano case. I mean, even look, the, the face is pixelated. It's only when you put it in a case does it start to make sense again. So, not my favourite piece, but when you put it in a case, I mean, let, let's take this red one out here quickly. I mean, okay, it don't go, but again, you put it in like that, and is it loud and leery now? I don't think it is. Yeah, there's a different shape variation. It's slightly bigger. It could go on the bottom row, I guess. But when you put it in a case, and I'm amassing my second case of bone shakers now, I quite like that. So that's the pixel shaker that I wouldn't have given a second thought about and overlooked every time. But I thought I'll take a risk. I don't know why. There's something I like about it. But anyway. So here's another variation. This is the street shaker, I believe. A bone speeder, sorry. Uh, bone shaker variation, uh, variant, variation, whatever you want to call it. Glow in the dark wheels. Not a big fan of it at all, but at that time, uh, I had not enough bone shakers, so I started filling up a case with um, bone speeders. Nice shape. Nice rear mounted engine. Busy chrome work on the front. Not much to say about that, but I've got a couple. Um, so that's one variant that I was collecting. Well, I say collecting, I got a couple of pieces and it went in a mixed bone shaker case. Here's the next one. This one I like more just because of the colour. Um, dark, dark, metallic red. Single seat cockpit, which I like. And that to me looks a lot meaner, number eight on the on the rear spoiler. And that's nice. I like that one. I, I, so I don't like glow in the dark much. And silly colours. And... If you remember, I said I had a couple of extras, like number threes and what have you. Well, I started to customise them. I thought, right, I mean, I'm going to do a golf shaker or two coming up soon. But I just stripped everything down, as as you would do. I'm not teaching anybody anything new here. Put it in the old paint stripper, buffed it up, and it looked like pewter. The metal pewter, you know, when you get these tankards and what have you. So, I liked it. And this, I put it back together. And I call this the Naked Shaker. Because it's got no clothes on. But, it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of mean. And I've got a couple of these. And this is what I tend to do with castings now. If I've got too many of the same castings, uh, I just strip them back. No gloss, no glamour. And uh, I like them. And again, they stand out nice in a case. Let's pull this green one out. Between two reds, it should look okay. And as you can see from that lot, the chrome where it shines. Does it look out of place? I don't believe it does. But that's a nice way. You know, because, you know, when, when you trade, you know yourself, you, you, you can soon amass a few castings of the same design and you think, oh, I'll trade them on, but everybody else can't do that all the time. So I strip them back now. So I'm going to do a couple of, of golf uh, variants, but I also just treat them to raw metal. Not like a Zaymac, just more like a pewter. But anyway, folks, that's my first case of bone shakers. I hope you agree. They look nice. I, I love them. And that's the main thing. And this has been Sol with a second Plano case filling, of which there'll be a long run in series. But again, I'm hoping we find this interesting. And next two videos will be unbox unboxings from friends. Hope to see you there. Please like, subscribe, comment. Um, I look forward to your comments. And this is Big Sol saying cheerio from England. Bye-bye.